A good audio master sounds good on all devices, in the car, in the cinema, and on the iPhone. It always creates a certain kind of energy, and it draws you into the song. A good master does not always need to be technically perfect in all aspects. Sometimes it's good to add a little over or under emphasis and focus more on certain musical elements. This creates more energy and tension. A typical mastering project starts with my assistant checking the files we've received for any technical defects. After this I listen to all the songs of the project in sequence, so the album, and then I discuss my ideas with the artist or the producer. Then I load the songs into a montage in Wavelab and I go through my analog chain. Starting with the equalizer, which I use to try to produce a frequency relationship or a balance, and this also works together with the dynamic tools. Also, the saturation of the equalizer is really important too. You can make it softer or rounder by using the upper tones, which are produced in the equalizer. Here I often use plugins like Master Rig, especially for surgical interventions, which the analog tools cannot handle so well. After the equalizer, I continue with the dynamic processing, using the compressors, the expander and the limiter. These are applied as needed, meaning that you can work with very clean compressors, like the alpha compressor, just to compress certain individual elements, which stand out every now and then, or to put really strong analog saturation into the song, in order to produce a nice sound, like for example Knifarimu or something like that. After the analog chain has been recorded in Wavelab, we can continue to work further digitally, meaning in the spectrum editor and with the plugins like for example Master Rig, in order to lower any rumbling tones, and the limiter in order to produce stability and calmness and to produce 100% focus. Then finally we produce the mediums, DDP, Master for iTunes and MP3. It's crucial here that the specifications are met concerning loudness, and it's just as important that we integrate the meter data with the GDP and also the CD text, the ISRC, GTIN and so on.